Hello and welcome to Road Rush Nation. I'm Terry, your host here at The Nation. If you've watched our channel in the past and subscribed, thank you. We're glad to have you as part of the Road Rush Nation. We always enjoy meeting members of the Road Rush Nation on the highways. If this is your first visit to the channel, welcome! And we hope you join the nation and come along on some amazing adventures as we share our Harley road trips with you and hopefully inspire you to get on your bike and take that trip. If you would like to be a member of our amazing nation and experience these unique places, then give us a like. Subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of these amazing trips. Today's ride is going to take us on Wolf Creek Pass in beautiful Colorado. And you're going to love this. We even got caught in a 4th of July parade in Pagosa Springs. When you ask people about great roads to ride in Colorado, most of the time you'll hear about roads like the Million Dollar Highway or Trail Ridge Road, which in my opinion, any road in Colorado is worth riding. You can't beat the landscape. But we would like to show you Wolf Creek Pass. And wow, what a beautiful and yet challenging ride. We had stayed the night before in Durango, Colorado, and we were making our way to the pass. We were making this ride on the 4th of July and really didn't think anything of it until, well, we came to Pagosa Springs, a very cool town that I would put down as a place to visit. So here's what happened. Nothing like being part of a parade. I felt bad for the little kids who were on the wrong side of the street and ended up having us wave to them. But then again, I don't think they minded when we got the chance to rev our bikes for them. That sure put a smile on their faces. So after winding our way through Pagosa, we were heading to the pass. The pass is located on the way from Pagosa Springs towards South Fork, and the drive is about 42 miles long. It's located on the Continental Divide in the San Juan Mountains of Colorado. The pass is known as US Highway 160. Wolf Creek Pass is a legendary route across the Rockies in Southern Colorado. It's a high mountain pass at an elevation of almost 11,000 feet above sea level. This beautiful mountain pass falls right along the Continental Divide. It gets its name from the nearby Wolf Creek, a San Juan River tributary which begins near the summit. Although the road reaches grades of nearly 7%, most vehicles can safely reach the Wolf Creek Pass. You will see semis on the highway, so be ready to move over for them if they're trying to climb the pass. Also, make sure to get out of their way on the downside. You don't want to be all bug on the windshield. Right next to the summit, there's a parking area with picnic tables and restrooms that are provided by the U.S. Forestry Service for you to stop and take a look at all the beauty. Is Wolf Creek Pass dangerous? Most crashes on the pass occur at the switchback curve near the Wolf Creek Scenic Outlook area. It's said to be one of the most dangerous roads in Colorado. It features a challenging switchback turn on the west side with a 200 foot drop off on the other side of the curve. If you hit that turn too fast, you will go right over the edge. Not a good thing. There are two runaway truck ramps on the westbound side of the pass for truckers that lose control of their brakes. And from 2011 to 2015, 49 semi-truck drivers have crashed on the west side of the pass. So just keep your eyes open. Now remember, this trip was during July. And yes, that's snow on the sides of the road. So when you reach the top, it can be a little chilly. I tried to warn the others in our group that it was going to be that way, but they thought I was nuts. Well, the laugh was on them when they were all freezing. The melting snow made for some awesome waterfalls along the road. And riding next to the rolling river stream was like amazing. This is when you need to make sure you're paying attention though, because it's so easy to be looking off and watching the beautiful stream that you kind of forget where you're at and you go, whoa, let's focus. Oh, and here's one of the bonuses on this route. There's a couple of tunnels. Who doesn't love to ride their bike in a tunnel and maybe rev the motor a little bit just to check and make sure everything's all right, so here, check them out. This is a great ride, and if you find yourself in the area wondering what road to take, don't forget Wolf Creek Pass. Thanks for watching, and we hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on the next adventure. Take care, ride safe, and enjoy life. Remember, life's too short. So let's go ride.